Hey guys, it's Ozzy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a dual micro coil build on a uh, dripper style atomizer. I um, uh, hope you enjoy. Alright guys, so you got to get all your stuff ready here so you can build with. <laughs> Excuse me, <clears throat> I got my 24 gauge canthal wire, about a foot of it. Got my coiling jig, my torch, my plume bell addy, scissors, clips, tweezers, and that's going to be about it for this build. Um, you're going to go ahead and put your wire in the coiling jig, tighten that down, and we're going to go for about eight wraps on this um, bit, which I wanted to show you guys. I'm not sure about the exact size. But it is, if you have one of these uh, hobby screwdrivers, it's about the same thickness as the metal part. Not the actual bit, the not the screwdriver part, but the metal part up top. It's about the same width as that. So like I said, we're going to go for eight wraps. Bring that last strap around, give it a nice tug on it. Alright. And you just want to go ahead and push down onto your uh, coiling jig with your uh, fingernails and squeeze that coil down. And then uh, go ahead and clip it. You don't need much legs on these kind of builds. So don't be afraid of going too short. You do want one leg longer than the other. That's to help you get them uh, into the, the posts when you're actually uh, putting the coils in. Now we'll do the next coil. And I don't know if I have enough left over here. Alright guys, so if you haven't bought yourself one of these uh, 100 foot rolls of wire, I highly suggest you do. Um, obviously try to find your preferred wire size first before you commit to buying 100 feet because it's quite a bit of wire as you can see. Um, I have a roll of 24 gauge and I have a roll of uh, 28 gauge. Those seem to be the sizes I use the most. We're going to go ahead and clip a decent amount there. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and wrap that uh, second coil here. Give that a nice tug. Push the coil down. And go ahead and clip your leg. You can go ahead and take it off your jig now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to torch them. Turn these into micro coils. And um, a micro coil is just basically where every wrap every individual wrap is touching the next and um, it's a very compact um, coil as opposed to being all spaced out like this so get yourself some tweezers these have been through uh, some tough times as you can tell here so uh, find yourself a good position where you're not causing any overlaps you want to heat it up until it gets red hot Right, once it's red hot, you want to let it cool down while you're holding it still. Blowing on it helps. And uh, your tweezers will get hot too, so make sure you have some kind of plastic uh, coated tweezers like this instead of being all metal. Uh, once you've held it for about 3-5 seconds, you can let go and now you have your nice micro coil. And I will uh, focus on that for you. See how every coil touches the next, no overlapping? That's exactly what you want after you torch your coil. Alright guys, now we're going to torch our next coil here, and it's the same exact process. Just clamp that down so it's nice and uniform, no overlapping. Cool. 
seconds or so, and then you should be golden. And that looks exactly like my other poll, so I won't bother showing that. And uh, now we'll move on to the next part, which is uh, loading up your Addy onto your base here. And also grab the bit you use to wrap the coils. You're going to use that to help place the coils in place. Um, again, we're building on a Plumeville Addy here, um, but it's pretty much the same for uh, every Addy. Alright guys, so you're going to take your bit, slide your coil on there gently. If, it's, uh, if it feels like it's kind of uh, tough to get on there, try not to deform the coil at all. Um, you can do some quick adjustments here, like bending your legs straight. But you can do a lot of that once it's on the Addy as well. Now, you're going to take, uh, on these uh, Addies that have a positive block, I'll zoom in to show you. On these Addies that have the positive block, you're going to want to put your coil legs, one in here, and one in here. What that does is that actually pulls your coil towards the center of the atomizer as opposed to putting them right next to each other. You, you want to space them out. So that's what I'll do now. All right. So it's always good to leave your, uh, your uh, positive post leg long so you can thread that first, followed by your ground. Let me pop up that screw a little bit. It's a little down. Push your coil through. Twenty-four gauge wire is a, is a little more difficult to kind of work with. It's not very uh, flexible as far as pushing it in place. <clears throat> so don't be afraid to put a little force into it. Once you're happy with your placement, let me show you this. And uh, it's not fully centered yet. I'll go ahead and center after I uh, tighten down the post. But once you find your uh, preferred spot here, go ahead and tighten down the post for those coils. So go ahead and clip your legs right at the post. You don't want any excess wire that might touch and cause a short. Um, grab your tweezers here. This is where we're going to try to center it, lift it up, whatnot. I need to grab my other screwdriver. So let me show you my first coil here. So you want to get it as close to centered as possible. Of course, uh, perfection would be great, but you're not always going to be able to get that, especially with this 24 gauge wire. It's a little more difficult to work with. But I do have, you know, uniform coil. They're all touching. They're not overlapping. Um, Height-wise, you want it to be about even with the positive post block. Um, Centered-wise. You know, at least as, as long as it's um, within that positive block area, you should be fine. Um, the Plumeville has air holes that would work in a, a bunch of different variations, so you'll be okay. Let's go back out now. Let me uh, check the screws one more time. Like I said, with every adjustment, you probably will get some uh, loosening of the screws. It seems to be the, the biggest size screwdriver that you, you can get with one of these. Okay, grab your second coil, put it in the uh, bit, and we're going to do the same exact thing here. First, we're going to push down our first coil so we have room to um, 
push the leg through. So go ahead and push that down until you can see the hole from that side. Turn it around. Put your positive wire in. And then your ground wire in. Now this part is very important. You want to actually uh, pull up the wire that's touching the other coil right now. You want to pull it up so that you can get a good clip on it so it won't be touching that coil causing a short. Um, the other one's going to be simple to clip. It's right there. So just make sure you clip it nice and tight close to the post. So we can go ahead and lift up our first coil now, back to uh, about the same height as the positive post. Okay, and like I said, my uh, second coil seemed to go in centered as it is, so that's perfect. Alright guys, let me show you this up close. Alright guys, so we have both our coils in there, um, about the same height. They are micro coils, so they are touching, no overlapping. They're centered as much as possible with the uh, positive post block. This one could be better, but like I said, don't sweat it too much. Um, as long as your Addy has some good airflow, you should be fine. Um, if you're a perfectionist, go ahead and center it some more. But I don't want to make this a 20 minute video, so uh, we'll keep going forward here. Alright guys, so I've saturated my wicks and uh, put them down in the, in the well. And let me show you what that looks like. You want to make sure you go down into the well. But you want to make sure you leave this area underneath the coil open so you can get some airflow going through there. And uh, that's going to help with the vapor production. Um, but you want to tug those tails in to the well. Okay. Now we're going to work the other side. You just want to get some light resistance when you go through. If you're having to literally tug the cotton through and you're ripping it apart, that's not good. So you want to rip some off. Alright, so let's throw this on a, I don't have an ohmmeter, but we're going to throw this on my box mod here. Should be about 0 0.25, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Alright, we're looking at 0 0.3 uh, ohms from these 8 wraps of 24 gauge canthal. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and throw this on my Mechmon now. Let's see how she fires. Make sure there's no shorts, like always. I'm going to add a little more juice here. This is our 0.3 ohm build. Let's see. Very nice, very nice. You should be able to see your coils from those little holes. There you go. You should be able to see uh, both your coils through the holes that are directly across from each other. And put those where the windows are on your bottom part of your Addy. Uh, once you have that done, you can go ahead and give her a vape. Excellent.
Alright guys, that was my uh, plume veil build. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later.